tunnel construction has always been a great challenge to man and machine. This is why economy in the use of time and money is a matter of concern in tunneling. Thanks to Port Tunnelbau, Austria boasts a partner of international reputation with wide experience, who never ceases to develop novel methods and techniques. Tradition and more than 100 years experience in tunnel construction promise high quality and reliability. Progress is the result of experience combined with continuous practice. Since the 70s, engineers from Pohr's staff have played an essential part in the development of the new Austrian tunneling method, in short, NATM. Today, NATM is an internationally recognized method of tunnel construction. Already on the Tauern Tunnel project in Austria, extremely pressurized rock and large deformations of the underground excavations taught tunnelers important lessons, lessons that led to a technological revolution in tunnel construction. With the aid of NATM, some traditional tunnel construction techniques were replaced by a system that is readily adaptable to the ground conditions encountered and includes the immediate provision of support. NATM has come to be used on many international projects. Depending on diameter and geology, the tunnel is driven in two simultaneous stages, top heading and bench heading. The top heading opens and stabilizes the usually difficult area of the tunnel roof. The methods are selected to suit the ground conditions. Drill and blast, or in less compact ground, tunnel excavators aided by hydraulic hammers or road headers. The length of one blasting round is usually between 0.8 and 4 meters. The tunnel soil is immediately removed. The tunnel arch is supported by means of shotcrete, steel mesh, anchors, and steel arches as required. Poor ground calls for special tunneling methods. extending from pipe roofing installed in advance to ground freezing techniques in waterlogged and cohesionless ground. The bench heading usually follows the advancing top heading at a distance of 80 to 120 meters. It is either driven on each side separately or in a single operation over the whole tunnel width. The sidewalls are supported by shotcrete, mesh and anchors as required. Ground subject to high pressures may require immediate closure of the supporting ring. This is usually done by providing a shotcrete or cast-in-place concrete invert right after bench excavation. The last step in tunnel construction is the inner lining. This includes provision of the invert complete with shoulders, followed by the tunnel concrete roof, as well as the cable ducts, and finally, the carriageway. The tunnel arch is sealed against groundwater by use of an environmentally friendly waterproofing membrane. The main finishing item, however, is the construction of the concrete inner lining in sections of up to 12 meters using mobile steel formwork. It takes experienced specialists to handle the complex sequence of tunneling operations. Comprehensive know-how, commitment, and professionality are the qualities which allow Paul Tunnelbau to look into the future with great confidence.